Broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. It's Tim Wilmot here from Wizard Systems. Thanks for joining me today for Goldmine 101, our regular series of short Goldmine presentations focusing on different topics around Goldmine and CRM. And this morning, I'm going to look more closely at exporting data from your Goldmine CRM system. And this this will be relevant to you if you're contemplating or if you need to do any export of information from Goldmine for um, maybe a mailing exercise you're putting into some kind of marketing um, application. Maybe you need to export data and give it to another organization for whatever purpose. Um, maybe you need to export data from Goldmine to put it into another application. So um, there could be various reasons why exporting data is a useful thing to know um, for you because all of the data um, in Goldmine is very securely stored in a Microsoft SQL database. And there's various ways, various options of getting the data out depending on what you need, your skills and, and uh, time scales and so on. Now, this presentation will be about uh, 10 minutes, quarter of an hour, so in duration. It's just an overview of the exporting options you've got with Goldmine. Not meant to be an in-depth uh, training exercise. Uh, my company, with Assistance, we do offer um, a lot of help around this area. We've um, done many export projects in the past. If you've got, um, if you're contemplating some kind of export exercise there and you want to bend our ear and, uh, and um, uh, rely on some of our experience, uh, we'd be happy to help you out. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel. I'll do my best to answer those at the end. Um, probably best to type them in as you think of them rather than waiting to the very last minute. Also at the end, I'll give you an update on any Goldmine uh, product news I got for you. And this call is being recorded after the presentation. You will get an email from our system with a link to the recording, which you can play back at your leisure. And we'll most likely uh, post it to our YouTube channel as well. OK, so let's get started. Just a very brief mention about my company. I know a lot of you on the call are very familiar with us and have dealt with us for a number of years. Um, and thanks very much for that. But um, we are, all, all we do is CRM. Goldmine is a main product we do. We do supply other alternate CRM systems, but Goldmine is a key, key product in our portfolio. And we've been doing a long time. Um, we've implemented well over 3,000 uh, systems all over the place in different types of organizations. And we provide the total service around Goldmine. Um, the software, upgrades, installation, customization, reporting, integration with other apps, training as well, your place, our place, or we can do training online. Um, and finally, we've got a a friendly, responsive Goldmine help desk here ready to answer your calls. OK, exporting data from Goldmine. Well, let's take a look at some of the, the basic options you've got. And we'll go up in, in levels of sophistication. So there is a basic export feature in Goldmine, which will allow you to export data in the top half of the screen, if you like, the main information about your contacts. It will also export notes from the notes tab. And it will also export information on the fields tab in Goldmine. So that's where your custom fields are normally uh, um, displayed, available to you. So this basic export feature is up here. And you can go to export contact records. And there's a number of different file formats that you would be prompted for initially. The most popular one is CSV, comma, separated values. So um, that's a file format that is readily accepted by a number of other um, different applications. So um, that would be nine times out of 10, or even 99 times out of 100. That would be the most uh, popular choice there. Um, DBFD base is rarely used these days, as is ASCII and um, SDF standard data format. Um, again, little used. So you just basically go through this wizard here. Um, you'll be prompted for the fields you want in this file. Um, 
any filter as well because rather than exporting the whole database you can actually export um, via an active filter or group uh, which is quite typical rather than exporting the whole database maybe you just want to do a, a subset of the database so that's what you can do there and obviously the file name as well and, you, and you're asked for a a, a, um, a profile name for this so you can use that for um, additional um, export exercises. So that's the basic export feature in Goldman. As I say, just really concentrates on primary contact data, notes, um, and uh, the your additional custom fields. Option number two is that whenever you do, whenever you have a list of contact information in front of you, um, as in this example here in the contact search center, um, you can right click here and select output to Excel. Um, I don't know why, but a lot of, uh, we do f sometimes come across a lot of users that aren't familiar with this output to feature to output what you see to a printer, to a Word document, to Excel, or to the Windows clipboard to paste into somewhere else. But Excel, there we are, um, what you see, those columns that you see, um, in that contact search center in this example would be out to uh, put to an Excel spreadsheet. And when you select that, Excel would suddenly fire up and you would see all this data in separate columns and off you go. Um, and likewise, we have um, created a number of dashboards at Wizard Systems, which again allow you to, with a dashboard, you can display a table of data um, so we have quite a nifty one at Wizard System, which allows you to export um, primary contact data and also additional contacts as well, um, miscellaneous contacts, if you like, relating to that customer. Um, so please contact us if you want more information on, on that special dashboard. The most sophisticated um, route that we sometimes take at Wizard Systems for um, for doing more sophisticated um, export projects is via SQL itself. So as I said, first of all, all of this goldmine data deep down behind the scenes is stored in a Microsoft SQL database, a very secure Microsoft SQL database. Those people that um, have used goldmine um, way back, you might recall that goldmine was on a DBase uh, backend well, DBase is really old technology now. Uh, we still come across um, some existing users on, on DBase. In fact, um, yesterday I spoke to someone that was on Goldmine, Goldmine 5. And, and uh, really, this is, these are older formats. Everything is gone, has, has gone for some time onto the Microsoft SQL um, um, a database format. So deep down, you've got this SQL database. Now, if I just um, show you exactly what I mean. So this is the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, um, which you get with SQL. And normally, your users would never see this. Um, so this is a very, very secure. It requires a login. It requires a very secure login, um, which I've done already. And you're presented um, with a number of different, different things that you can do with your SQL database, including the ability to look at all of your goldmine tables. So when you look at goldmine, any, any typical goldmine screen, it may it's, it's displaying data. It's a relational database system. It's displaying data from a number of different tables. And there they all are there. And there's contact one and contact two. These are the primary databases. These are, these are the primary tables that um, the, the goldmine is drawing its data in. But what we tend to do is within SQL, there's a, there's a terminology called views and within views you can tell SQL what specific data you want to see from what table and build in some search criteria as well so for example I have here um, a, a way of looking at all of my columns so I could just look at sorry all of my contacts so I just right click over that and select the first 1000 records this will quickly displace this is one i've done previously um so in the top half of the screen 
I've got what's called my SQL select statement. So this, this is the instruction to the database to say, bring up all of these fields. And if I scroll down a little bit more, bring up all these fields um, from this particular database for a particular condition. And then in the lower half of this, um, in, in the lower half of this window, we've got the results, those columns that we see. So um, we've got the account number, the unique ID of every record in Goldmine. You never really see that uh, uh, that field, but it's unique uh, identifier. Um, the actual company name, content name, and all the primary contact details as well, relevant to your SQL query statement. And then from here, what we do is we save that. Um, there's a few options you got here, but we can save this as a particular database format, typically, again, a CSV to then do something with it um, from then on in. So um, that's the that's the third more sophisticated statement. And, and it's it can be a little bit techy, this this um, this option. So I, I would strongly if you're not familiar with SQL and many, many apps, this is not just um, um, special with Goldmine, uh, but many other applications use SQL. So this this is a very common industry format. Um, but if you're not if you're not familiar with SQL, then please consult with uh, with assistance for any advice or get us to do that export thing for you. So we, uh, as I say, it's a regular thing that we do um, all the time, um, exporting data from Goldmine for whatever reason it is. So there's the, uh, the run through the options there, running from fairly basic ones to more more sophisticated ones. So um, now what we normally do is open it out to any questions around this topic or indeed anything um, Goldmine related. Uh, feel free if you've got any other Goldmine questions. Um, so pop those into those the, your question section on your meeting control panel. Uh, first question from Sandy. Can you export records amended after a certain date? Uh, yes. So I, I assume that's the last amended date of record. Yes, that is a field in Goldmine um, as part of the filter or the SQL query that can be built in. So records amended after a certain date. Those are the only records you you would view or you can export. So yeah, no problem at all. A pretty, in fact, that's a pretty standard thing to do. Um, very often, if you've been using Goldmine for a long time, you may think, well, we're not going to bother with records that are older than five years, um, for example, um, or, or maybe even incomplete records for whatever exercise you're doing. You may want to um, not bring out records with without a job title or something like that. Um, Next question from Ben. I want to export main and additional contacts. No history. Can I do that? Yes. Well, yes, you can. Um, the easiest way is via, um, I mentioned um, a little dashboard that we've created that we actually dish out free of charge to, to the Goldmine community. Um, I'll send you a copy of that, Ben, but that allows you to, you create your group, you create your filter, create your group, and then you just go to this, this uh, dashboard and um, select that group and it will then display a table of all of those people both main and additional contacts and you just you just then right click and export it to excel off you go um, so that's that free dashboard i'll send it to you ben um brian how how do you restrict access to export very straightforward um so you can restrict uh, that export function to people. You rec can restrict access to your SQL database. That is very, very common. Um, as I say, normal users would never, ever see SQL. That's really only for us or the administrator uh, working on your system. Um, and also that right-click output to option, again, um, that that can be restricted when you set up a user. You can um, prevent them doing that uh, right click and export <clears throat> excuse me so don't think there's any more questions coming through if any late questions do come through I'll answer those separately um, via email to you so uh, in wrapping up this short call this morning just to let you know we have a goldmine introduction training course next Thursday 
um, suitable for any people starting afresh with Goldmine, please contact us for details. Um, the latest versions of Goldmine, the latest uh, hotfix came out in October. Um, uh, Goldmine updates tend to be on a quarterly basis, so uh, we are expecting a new one probably um, around the end of the year sometime. But on these sessions or via our Goldmine blog, um, we will notify you of um, any pending release and what's actually in those releases. And you've got to have a Goldmine maintenance contract to keep up to date with latest Goldmine um, versions additions. Also, email me. Please email me for any suggestions for future topics. I'm always on the lookout for something new, um, something that would uh, be of uh, appeal to the Goldmine community at large, something that um, is relevant to a lot of people. Please email me with any ideas that you've got. Um, so thanks very much for your time this morning. Um, watch out for our email, um, which will send you a link to the system. But thanks very much for your time this morning and have a good day. Thank you much. Bye-bye.